welcome to another tutorial and I want to show you how to crochet this beautiful and simple headband. I will show you step by step how to make this headband and it's pretty easy to make. We will use just slip stitches and that's all. So let's crochet! You can use whatever yarn you like, but I'm going to use this amazing cozy soft yarn called Baby Soft from Lana Gato. It's with aloe vera and it's 50 grams, 125 meters. I will use double yarn and I will use 5 millimeter crochet hook. You will need measure tape and yarn needle. And how I said, I'm going to use double yarn, so you will need two ends of the yarn. You can uh, use two balls or you can use one ball and take the tail from inside and take the tail from, um, from outside the ball. It's up to you if you will use one or two balls. Start with a slip knot and now I'm going to chain 91 and I'm going to show you the size of the headband for a one and a half to three year old girl. Okay, now we are going to make slip stitches. Start in the second chain. This is first and this is second chain. Insert your hook into the second chain, grab the yarn, pull it through. Now you have two loops on your hook and pull the left loop through the right loop. This is slip stitch and make one slip stitch in each chain across. So in my case, I have to make 90 slip stitches. I'm at the end of the first row and this is last chain where I have to make last slip stitch. At the end of each row, chain one and turn your work. And from this row, from next row, we are going to use just back loop. So you can see stitches here and this is the back loop. So the stitch has two loops. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, better what I mean. What is the back loop? So when you turn it like this, this is back loop, this is back loop and the stitch has two loops, front and back. So we will use just the back loop. This is back loop and always start in very first back loop. So make first slip stitch in very first back loop and you have to make one slip stitch in each back loop across. So this is first back loop and there you have to make first slip stitch. And I'm going to make one slip stitch in next 89 back loops because I will make very last slip stitch into the stitch because I want to have straight edge, nicer edge.
Okay, I'm nearly at the end. I have 89 slip stitches in back loop only. And now I'm going to use both loops. So not just back loop, but last, last slip stitch of each row goes into the stitch. So use both loops. Okay. This is last slip stitch of the row. And at the end of each row, chain one and turn. Start in very first back loop and make first slip stitch. And you have to make 89 slip stitches into the back loop. So continue working one slip stitch in each back loop across, but the very last slip stitch goes into the stitch into the both loops. Okay, I have 88 slip stitches. This is last slip stitch into the back loop and where last slip stitch goes into the stitch. Then chain one and turn your work and repeat it again. So you will continue like this and I'm going to make 13 rows in total. So headbands with is nine centimeter. If you want to have the width of your headband bigger, you can make more rows. It's up to you. So I'm making very last row of the pattern. Okay, keep the tail longer. You can cut the yarn, but keep the tail longer because we will use it for sewing. And this is how it looks like. It's stretchy. Okay, I'm going to measure the length of my headband. It's 46 centimeters, but it's stretchy. So it's about 50 centimeter. And now let's join both sides of the headband together. So you can cut the yarn, keep the tail longer. And now you will need tapestry needle. I really love the pattern. It's very stretchy. It's beautiful pattern. It looks like knitted. Okay, let's make uh, the front part of the headband. So we have to join both sides together. So now flip both sides of the headband in a half and insert the dam into each other like this. 
and the tail should be uh, outside. Okay, and now we can saw. Okay, and this is the wrong side of the headband. And now you have to weave the tail inside the headband. Now you can turn it to the other side, so to the right side of the headband, and it's perfect. And we have to weave also the starting tail into the headband. Okay, this is how my headband looks like. I really like it. It's comfy, stretchy, it's warm headband because of double yarn. You can put the label on your headband and it's really all from me for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked the video. I hope you like my pattern. If you do, put the thumb up, share and comment and I will look forward at the next video. So have a lovely day and see you very soon.